Now, before proceeding to the data analysis, let us understand the different scales. There are four scales of measurements, one the nominal scale, the second the ordinal scale, the third is the interval scale and the fourth one is the ratio scale. You might be interested in knowing who gave measurement scales. The measurement scales were given by a psychologist whose name was Stanley Steves and he gave the measurement scales as nominal scale, ordinal scale, interval scale and ratio scales. Let us understand the nominal scale. This nominal word is derived from no mean a Latin word. The this nominal scale is basically used whenever the variables are discrete. That means, they are classified into different groups. Nominal scale data are also called the categorical data. The nominal scale data are basically the most most lowest scale data. The different examples of nominal scale data are gender, vegetables, colors, the residential background, the types of the institutes etcetera. The analysis of nominal scale data can be done through different statistical technique. In case of nominal scale data, we can calculate percentages, we can also analyze with the help of a chi-square test, we can also calculate mode, we can also use Mann-Whitney U test etcetera. Next scale is the ordinal scale. Ordinal scale is higher than the nominal scale. In the ordinal scale, one can sequence, arrange the things in some order or one can assign ranks. In ordinal scale, it is typically a non-numeric scale, where you can say whether one is happy or one is unhappy. One cannot really say the degree of happiness and degree of unhappiness, the satisfaction etcetera. The data of the ordinal scale can be analyzed by computing median, by computing percentiles, by computing rank difference method of correlation. It can also be analyzed with the help of candles R etcetera. Next scale is the interval scale which is higher than the ordinal scale. In interval scale, the important characteristics to be understood are that there is no zero point. Second is the intervals are of equal length. Now, here without zero, true zero, you cannot say that there is a absolute zero. There may be a reference point. Having reference point and having a true zero point, these are two different concepts. One should understand it. Since there is no true zero, therefore, one cannot compute ratios. Now, when a researcher has a data on the interval scale, he can add or subtract, but he cannot multiply and divide. The different variables whose measurement will be on interval scale, they are anxiety, frustration, 
tension, Fahrenheit, temperature, etc. The analysis of data on the interval scale can be done using different statistical technique. For this interval scale data, one can compute mean, standard deviation, coefficient of correlation, one way analysis of variance, two way analysis of variance, three way analysis of variance, one way analysis of covariance, two way analysis of covariance, correlation, partial correlation, etcetera. The last scale of measurement is the ratio scale. This measurement is the highest. Now, in this measurement, there is a fixed 0 and ratios are of equal length. In this particular one, that the measurement which a researcher gets will be the highest measurement. And with this, one can do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations. The different examples of variable which will have the measurement on the ratio scale, they are height, weight, temperature in degree centigrade, time, volume, etcetera. The data on the ratio scale can be analyzed by computing mean, standard deviation, coefficient of variation, correlation, partial correlation, multiple correlation, one way analysis of variance, two way analysis of variance, three way analysis of variance, one way analysis of covariance, two way analysis of covariance, three way analysis of covariance, factor analysis, canonical correlation, discriminant analysis, etcetera.